Hey friends, I'm Brooke and today I'm going to lead you through eight minutes of biceps and triceps. We're going to have 12 intervals, each 40 seconds long. We'll spend six of those on buys, six of those on tries, so that makes four minutes, four minutes, eight minutes total, and you're done. All you need is body weight and one resistance tube. So grab your tube and let's get started. Go ahead and step on your band where the middle of your shoe pushes down into that tubing, spread your feet hips width apart, curl, and down. Just full range bicep curls for the first 40 seconds. Up, and down. There should be no movement at your core, so we're tight and engaged. No leaning back. Boom. Let's take a side view look. Here. Up, up, and down. Try to exhale as you curl up, inhale as you lower. You're doing great, just getting started, sending some, some blood flow to the biceps. Very nice, add a pulse in the middle, so come halfway up, drop an inch, all the way up, all the way down. Halfway up to 90, drop an inch, all the way up, all the way down, that's it. Here, a little drop, up, and down. If you're not feeling at least a little something in the bodies by now, you might need to spread your legs a little wider. Get some more tension in that tube. Good. Up, drop a little bit. All the way up, all the way down. Notice, no movement at all in my torso. No leaning back. Very nice, halfway up, all the way down. Small range of motion, only coming up to 90, then lower. Here. Coming up next interval, we'll go all the way up and only halfway down. That's what's around the bend. Coming up here in about 20 seconds. Yeah, nice. Up. Very good. Hang in with me for another 15 seconds here. By now those guns are feeling right. Sun's out, guns out. Good. Ready all the way up, halfway down, hit it. Check it out from profile. Curl, halfway down. Woo! Biceps are on fire and fuego. Okay, good news after this, we only have two more rounds of biceps. I'm not saying they're going to be easy. They're going to be tough because our biceps are now just about fried. It's a pretty small major muscle group, you guys. Okay, take one foot out. Check it out. One arm's halfway up. Other one's all the way down. Okay, so one comes all the way up. The, only, the other one comes only halfway up. From the side, looks like this. Pretty cool, huh? Challenging your brain and your body. You can totally do this with both feet still in. My biceps were just crazy fatigued, so I needed to take one leg out. But if you still got both feet in, good for you. Coming up in five seconds, we'll switch. Okay, so now, all the way up, halfway down with the other arm, all halfway up, all the way down with the one that was vice versa last round. Here it is from the side. Coming up in 20 seconds, we'll switch to triceps. Ten seconds. I am so glad biceps are done because man, mine are totally completely toasted. Here we are. Stand on both feet on the tube. Tricep kick back. Kick back and in. Elbows are lifted a little higher than your torso. Stable at the shoulder, only moving at the elbow joint. Woo! Yeah. So defined triceps can give your arms mega definition. There's three heads to your triceps. Gotta work the backs of those arms. Out and in. 
tight, tight, tight through the core. No rounded backs. Take your arms straight, three pulses back. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So it's a stiff arm, lat pull down. So we're getting some work for the lats, but lots of work for the triceps here as well. Stiff arms, triple pulse. Three, two, and repeat it. Very nice. Coming up in about 10 seconds, we'll lose one handle. You'll hold the band down with one foot and we'll take an arm overhead. Here we go. Release one handle, step in, tricep extension right here. I like to use the other hand to hold this arm in place to help stabilize the shoulder. When we switch to the other arm, I'm gonna give you a back view so you'll see what this looks like from the back side. Totally, totally motionless at the shoulder, only flexing and extending at the elbow. You guys are doing great. Arms day, arms day today. Switch to the other side. Again, you can use your free hand to hold that humerus and help to stabilize. We're gonna take it to the floor after this. Still working triceps, we'll just take it to the floor. Come on down, down with me. Down to the floor. Wrap the band around your feet. Check it out. Triceps full of pressures. So we're working the triceps, but you're also getting core work in here too. You feel your abdominals kind of quivering a little bit on these full pressures. You're gonna feel your core in the next one too, which will be our very last interval. We'll lose the band, y'all. You know where I'm going with this, right? Tricep push-ups will be our finisher. Triceps are super duper tough. Feel free to do them on your knees. I'm gonna demonstrate on the toes. Bands out of the way. Here we are, like this. Down, up, okay? If you're doing those tricep push-ups on your toes, really focus on tightening your abs. That's gonna help you to lift as one body, one unit on the rise. Elbows go straight past your rib cage as you lower. Whew. Good. Primarily tricep work, but you're also feeling some chest, plenty of core. Let's get one more in. And friend, that's eight minutes biceps, triceps. You killed it.